Hello and welcome to Witchcraft. It's officially spooky season, though in my life that season doesn't really end. To kickstart the season, we'll be making some wreaths and bringing out the more macabre decor. And it looks like it's just about the witching hour, so let's get started. I've shown in previous wreath making videos how to make the wreath base from grapevines, but I'm gonna do a quick recap. Here I'm using thin forsythia branches and suckers because they're flexible and easy to work with. I start by stripping the leaves off and then testing the flexibility of a branch by creating a loop. Once I'm sure the branches can bend to my will, I continue stripping all the leaves off the remaining branches that I know that I'm going to use. Sometimes the thicker ends won't bend very easily, so just trim it up to the flexible point on the branch. Next, I build up the base by weaving branches around the initial loop I made until it's pretty thick. It is really hot outside, so let's head back indoors and finish up this base. After I had my wreath base built, I braved the heat and gathered some dry dead branches. I broke them down into smaller pieces and stuck the little branches and twigs between the green forsythia branches. I slowly built up the twigs and worked my way around the ring. A couple of spots got a little loose from me being a bit forceful with the dry branches, so I tightened them up with some thin floral wire. The next step was to spray paint the entire wreath black and you'll want to make sure you get every angle possible so there's no green peeking through anywhere. I let it dry for about an hour or two and then I sprayed the backside. To make the spiderweb within the wreath, I used white twine. I measured the width across the opening and I added a bit extra so I could have enough to tie it in place. And then I cut a few more pieces to the same length. 
I tied one end of the string in place with a double knot and then stretched it across and tied it so that it would be nice and taut. I tied all the pieces in place and made sure they were nice and tight. Then I tied a really long piece of twine to one of the strings to start the spiral within the web. You'll need to tie a knot anywhere that the long piece of string crosses over the other strings. Just slowly work your way around in a spiral, tying knots as you go, until you reach the end of your long piece of string, and then tie the end in place. You can adjust the knots by sliding them up and down to line them up properly, just in case they moved in the process, and then trim off any ends or frayed bits and hang it up.